Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, class. Hello. Hi, Fatima. Hello, Eliana. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Oscar, hello. Hello, Sara. How are you? Welcome, guys. Hello, Carlos. Good evening, guys. Hello, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. And you, Arely? Very well. Thank you. Perdón, no tuve chance de hacer tareas ni nada. Estuve topadísimo todo el día. Okay, don't worry. We're going to work today on some activities so you can practice, okay? Okay. Fátima, hello. Where are you, Fátima? Hola, how are you? No la veo, Fátima. Bye, thank you. Ay, de veras. <laughs> no la vi. No la había conectado. <laughs> That's too strange. Okay, so we're going to start, guys. So I'm going to start sharing in a moment. Uh, listen, we're going to have some activities. Um, well, <laughs> as usual, a lot of activities, right? Let's see. Um, okay. So just let me open something and I'm gonna share with you. Okay. By the way, uh, by the way, I, I want you to try to go low and up. Let me see. Hold on. Where is it? Okay. Hmm. I'm sure that one. Okay. So I have a problem with that. So I cannot use that. Okay, so let's start with our session. Today is our session number 12. And look at this. Uh, today is March the 21st and the time is running. So I hope you're working on your activities. Chicos, eh, estamos súper bien con la plataforma. Eh, quizás hay algunos que necesitan ahí eh, impulsar un poquito más el uso. Necesitamos ahí reforzar un poquito más el uso de la plataforma. Pero eh, en general estamos súper bien. Lo felicito porque súper excelente sus notas. Se las estuve revisando este día y actualizando sus exámenes también. Eh, nada más chequen ahí si hay alguien que necesita verificar algo. Verifiquémoslo nuevamente. Este día voy a, voy a revisar el final para, para apoyarle ahí a alguien que, que necesite apoyo. Ok. Ok, so look at this. We have a warming up activity, as usual, a pre-task. Uh, we're going to, um, well, we're going to have a, fi a, sh a feedback related to the simple present tense because it's important to uh, practice, right? To practice the usage 
And um, later we continue with information, questions and answers. We also have some exercises and uh, we'll, we're gonna have some speaking practice. So this is our class objective for today. Um, general objective. Uh, can you read it please, Carlos? Okay, hold on. Okay, look at it here. So can you help us, Carlos? Read the general objective for this class. General object. Participants will be able to ask and ask work question about someone else duty, duty mm -hmm. at the workplace. Class objective. Participants will be able to ask information questions and guide out answers. Answers. Okay. Nice. And so as you notice, everything is related to well daily routines. We're gonna have practice about that. And besides that, we're gonna practice with some double H questions and the structures that we use. So look at this. Um, I'm gonna start sharing something else. Uh, we're gonna start with this uh, with our book because we need to practice and reinforce some things. Okay, look at this. Um. We are going to uh, complete the following questions. Yes, no questions. So do you remember, this is on page 24, page 24. Do you remember when we started yes, no questions? So, ¿quién recuerda cuando veíamos las yes, no questions? Do you remember? This is key for today's class. Eso nos va a ayudar también este día para formular double H questions, okay? So let's try to review this. Uh, do you remember that we need the structure? Auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb, right? And uh, we need uh, the question mark, right? Recuerdan acá la estructura que veíamos, uh, auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb plus, auxiliary verb, Plus what? Subject plus a main verb, right? And we also need a question mark. So this is for the yes, no questions. This is for yes, no questions. So let's read the examples. Fatima, can you read the examples? Yes, no questions? In a, number one. Mm -hmm. Here, do I get up early? Do you get up early? Yes, I do. Yes, no. I do. No, no. No, I don't. Okay. No, I second don't. sentence. Uh, Carlos, continue with the second one. Do you call do you call other companies? Okay. Answer? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Okay. Continue with the next one, Marvin. <clears throat> do do they transport the product? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay, and finish with this one, Marvin. Do we check the police? Policies? Yes. Policies? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Okay, so as you remember, it's very easy, right? So you, what you have to keep in mind is this, right? That with uh, I, you, we, and they. So which is the auxiliary that we use with these uh, pronouns? ¿Qué auxiliar utilizamos con estos pronouns? Do or do. does? Which one? Do. Do, right? Okay, well, how about he, she, it? Does. Do or does? Okay, nice. So this is important. So you can um, create the questions, right? So look at this. Uh, we have question number one. Question number one, we have some um, verbs and words in, in here, and we, ha we have to use that in order to create a question. You work company. Yes, so this is a positive answer. So which could be my question? ¿Cuál podría ser la pregunta? 
You do work? You, okay. Do you work? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you work? In? In the company? In the company. In the company. Mm -hmm. Question mark. Affirmative yes. answer. Yes. Yes. I do. Yes. yes, I do. Okay, well done. Second question. Second question. They check do. product. They check product. Auxiliary, do or does? Do. Do, okay. Do. Subject? Do they check? Okay. The product. Do they check product. the products? Let's look at the answer. It's a no. No. Do they check the products? They done. No, they don't. Okay. okay. Nice. Let's see. You ready for this one? Ileana, Carlos, Fatima, and the rest. Uh, Gabriela. Number three. Look at this. Number three. We have number three. Number three says, um, okay, we listen customers. We listen customers. Auxiliary verb. Do we? Okay. Do we? Subject? Oh, I mean, verb. Listen. Verb. Listen. listen. In the consumer. Ah, okay. So do we listen? Customers. Okay. Escuchamos. Do we listen to the customers? Escuchamos a los clientes? Yes. I do. Yes, I do. We look at the bird. Look at the sub, uh, the prana. Yes. Do we listen we to do. the customers? We do. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well done. Number four. Number four. Look at number four. Um, number four says, "I mm -hmm. buy new material. I buy new material." So, which could be uh, the question? Do or does? Do. Do. Okay. Do, do I buy? Do. Okay. do I buy? What? A new material? Mm, okay. I'll say new material. New, new. Okay. Uh, no. Negative answer. No. No, I buy. Negative. No, I don't. Or no, you don't. Okay. Number five. Milena and Pablo design logo. Milena and Pablo design logo. What do you think? Number five. Do. Mm hmm Uh, Subject? Look at the subject. Milen. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Who is the subject? Can I sujeto ahí? They. Mm, okay. They, right? Milena and Pablo. They. Ahí incluso, you can even write Milen. Do Milen and Pablo design logo? And that's okay, yes. Okay, do they design logo? Okay, yes. Yes. Yes, I they do. They do. Yes, they do. Recuerden que tiene que haber ahí un paralelismo. ¿Diseñan logo no. o logos ellos? ¿Para el logotipo para la compañía? Sí, no. ellos lo hacen. Ajá, uh -huh. so you have to match that. Tenemos que... Hacer um, esa combinación. Okay, so now look at this. We're gonna have a practice with some, uh, okay. So let me go back. So this is on page, page 23. We're gonna read the following information and we're gonna uh, answer some questions, okay? Let's see, Carlos, please help me with this. 
read the information. Number two, number two. Okay, Elsie, help us, please. Elsie, help us. Uh, read the information about each person's activities at the workplace. Oneida, Chicas, and Nelly Pineda. Um, can you help us? Let's see. Help us reading that information, Elsie. This information. Do and don't. Mm. Don't. Mm -hmm. Create software, software computers, computers, install, install antivirus, antivirus, uh -huh. antivirus, download, share, compute, programs, exchange, exchange, exchange information about, about programs. Programs. About okay. Programs. Mm -hmm. So we're going to read the information about these people. Oneida, do these activities. And Nelly, don't do these activities. Ricardo Mata, do these activities. And Max Pinto, don't or, or doesn't uh, do doesn't. these activities. So we're going to um we're gonna read the information that they do and that they uh, don't do, right? Vamos a ver la información que ellos hacen y la que no hacen, ¿ok? So, look at Oneida Chicas. Create software, repair computers, and install antivirus. Antivirus. And Nelly Pineda. She doesn't sell computers. Uh, she doesn't exchange information about programs. So, now, Ricardo Mata. Marvin, read, read about Ricardo Mata. Do. Uh, keep track on the sales, write mm -hmm. reports by new merchants. Okay, so we're gonna check it. Look at this. Um, okay, so uh, I notice this. Mer Mer mm -hmm. Listen, listen, listen up. Mer merchandise. 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 Mm -hmm. Merchandise. So goods that are bought or sold. Goods that are for sale in a shop. Productos que compran o venden o productos que están en venta en una tienda. So that's merchandise. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, continue. Marvin, don't. Max Pinto. Okay. Teacher, mire, no he activado la cámara porque igual le estaba arreglando el cargador de la compu que no quiere. Pero igual, aquí estoy pendiente. Porque okay, ya bien. 20 de carga tiene. Ok, Max. Okay, esperamos Pinto. que después lo logres activar, ¿ok? Ok. Gracias, Marvin. Max Pinto. Receive money from sale. Decide what, what to buy. Ok. Excellent. So look at this. Ricardo Mata Max Pinto. So keep track of the sales, write reports, buy new merchandise, uh, don't, they don't receive money from sales, they decide what to buy. Okay, so now we're gonna read this information. Do Neda and Nelly work with softwares? Do they work with softwares? Oneida and Nelly. Look at this, Oneida and Nelly. Do they work with softwares? What do you think? Trabajan con software? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. This information. Yes, Marvin? Yes, yes. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. So, which is the answer? Yes. Yes. They do. Okay. The next one, number two. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Um, yeah. Yes. I yes. Yeah. Read it again. Read it again. So it says they install antivirus and they don't sell computer programs. No. 
Uh -huh. So the no. answer is no, right? No. Uh -huh. no. No, they don't. Okay. Okay. Number three. Number three. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Let's go to Ricardo and Max. Keep track on the sale, sales. Uh, sales. No. No, they don't. They don't. Mm -hmm. So the question says, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Obtienen dinero de la venta de las ventas? No, right? So look at this. No, they don't. Uh -huh. no. They don't receive money from sales. Okay. Okay, next question. Okay, next question says, um, okay, four, do Ricardo and Max write reports? So do they write reports? Mm -hmm. No, they don't. Uh-huh, no, they don't. They look at don't. this, uh, let's look at uh, the information. Uh, <laughs> they keep track on the sales, uh, write reports. Right buy new merchandise okay the question back again do ricardo and max write reports yes yes right Let yes they write, write reports reports okay nice number uh, okay so we have four oh, back okay. again do ricardo and max repair computers <laughs> my goodness four four and four <laughs> Okay, uh, do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Ricardo and Max. No, they don't, right? No, well done. Don't. So copy that information. Okay, no, they don't, right? Number four again. <laughs> Let's see the last one. <laughs> do Neida and Nelly install programs? So let's go back to Oneida and Nelly. Do they install programs? Um, yes. What do they install? What do they install? Que instalan? Eso uh, antivirus. 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 Okay. Antivirus. Well done. Antivirus. Mm -hmm. So the answer is yes, they do. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done, guys. So you have done a great job. Why yes? Which one? Why yes? Oh, because they install antivirus. So that's a program, I think. What is the answer? What is the question? This one. Do you need that in many install programs. programs? Okay. Yes, install antivirus. Ah, okay, it's a problem. Okay, so let's continue. And uh, we're going to check some more uh, information about uh, the topics that we have been working with. Listen, we're going to work in teams. Again, so we're going to work in teams of five, I guess. So just let me go back. Okay, so this is page 25, page 25. Uh, in this activity, we're going to ask five classmates about their daily routines at work. And then we're going to share uh, this information uh, in here in the main uh, room, right? In the main session. For example, uh, since you're going to work in groups of five, the question will be, uh, for example, what do you do? What do you do on a Mondays? Or you can also ask. Hola, Daniela. Casi no se escucha. 
Casi no se escucha, Daniela. Si me deja un mensajito. No se escucha me... nada. Sí, no le escucho, Daniela. Déjame un mensajito. Se escucha bastante cortado. Es que tiene problemas con la señal. Sí, así ella me ha comentado eso. Es que en el lugar donde ella vive no pega mucho a la señal. Uh -huh. Bueno, vamos a ver si se vuelve a conectar porque no... Creo que la sacó de, del Zoom. Ok, so look at this. Um, so you're going to ask a question um, like this. What do you do on Monday or what do you do on Tuesday? So you can ask about the different days of the week. So in here, you can modify that, right? Okay. Uh, for example, what do you do on Mondays? Uh, let's see, Marvin, what do you do on Mondays? Mention, I, uh -huh. mention one activity. I work and... Okay. Marvin works and what else? Visit Something the... Customers? Visit mm. my girlfriend. Okay. Got it. Okay. So look at this. So you have to report that Marvin works and visits her girlfriend. Second example. Second example. Eduardo, what do you do? Um, let's say at work. Okay. What do you do at work? So this could be another question. Entonces podemos hacerlo relacionado con las actividades que hacen diariamente o en general. Uh, what do you do? Okay, what do you do at work? So remember that we're asking about the activities. Estamos preguntando de las rutinas. Entonces ahí no hay problema. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de esos dos. So Eduardo, what do you do at work? So mention one or two activities. Okay. Uh, first, first we meet, we meet with, no, we meet, we meet. First, we meet with mm -hmm. my, with my partners. Okay. Okay, our colleagues. Is that what you need, me? Colleagues? Okay, Eduardo, Eduardo meets with his colleagues. Recuerden que acá como lo vamos Colega. a ustedes van um, a escribir lo que hace Eduardo. Ustedes lo van a escuchar. Uh, Eduardo, what do you do? Okay, I meet with my colleagues. Me reúno con mis colegas. And then I check my email. Entonces, pero no lo van a poner en primera persona, lo van a poner en tercera persona. Eduardo meets with his colleagues en... And check. Uh -huh. And he and checks. He, and he checks report that last week. Uh -huh. Reports. That last week. And, check, and checks reports the last week ah, from the last week mm -hmm. okay so now let's see another example um let's see okay sarita one more example sarita what do you do on uh, let's see um, on friday so give us yeah. one idea Eh, no lo entendí muy bien, se me cortó. Ah, ok. What do you do on Fridays? What do you do on Fridays? Um, se lo voy a decir en español porque si sí, no sé cómo decirlo. Bueno, estuve de como decir de maestra suplente hasta el mediodía. 
no sé. Mm, ok. Pero sería más bien. Ok. Sarita. Teaches. Teacher. Mm, el subject, Sarita, una asignatura especial. English. Eh, eh, es que trabajo con los niños de Kinder 5. En, más que todo, igual, eh, modalidad en inglés y de nada más haces. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. So you can, uh, you can say that you teach kids. Sarita teaches kids on Fridays. Vaya, en este caso sería... Recuerde que acá la pregunta está en, siempre en presente. ¿Qué haces los viernes? ¿Qué haces el lunes? So what do you do on Monday? What do you do on Tuesday? O con cualquier día de la semana. Está en presente. Entonces sería algo rutinario. No sería algo que ya hizo. Por eso acá lo pusimos en presente. ¿okay? Sarita teaches kids on Fridays. Decía, Sarita enseña a los niños los viernes. ¿Ok? Let's see, one more example. Carlos, um, Carlos, okay. Carlos, what do you do at work or during the week? Uh, I visit. Mm -hmm. uh, I visit. No, no. Eh, ma, los 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 sedis de la compañía o las sucursales sería en toda la semana mm -hmm. okay so he visits the company branches mm, okay the whole week okay la semana completa, la semana completa, le visita la, sí. las sucursales de la empresa, la semana completa. Correcto. You can say the whole sí. week, ahí lo cerramos todo con la semana completa, la semana entera. O you can say the, during the week, durante la semana, all the week, podría ser también. So write right the duty, okay? during the week. Okay, well done. So questions, guys, questions about what you're going to do. So, chicos, pregunta de lo que van a hacer. So is this uh, idea clear? Is this activity clear? So remember, the questions that you're going to ask are the following. So you can ask either, what do you, um, okay, so let me correct that. What do you, what do you do at work? Or what do you do on a particular day? Okay, example, Monday. So Marvin works and visits her girlfriend. Eduardo meets with his colleagues and he checks reports from the last, uh, okay, from the previous, from the last week. Uh, Sarita teaches kids on Fridays and he visits the company, uh, Carlos visits the company branches during the week, okay? And notice something important in here. Um, okay, veamos este ejemplo. Por si no se lo he mencionado. Marvin, acá tenemos el ejemplo de Marvin. Marvin trabaja y visita a su novia. Nótese acá que empezamos con, un, con el nombre. ¿verdad? Marvin, Marvin works. Luego utilizamos un subject pronoun. ¿Para qué utilizamos el subject pronoun? ¿Que ¿Puedo utilizar cualquiera de los dos? Sí, puedo utilizar cualquiera de los dos, pero el subject pronoun es para sustituir a quién, a Marvin, ¿verdad? Tercera persona, él. Y además, esto evita que esté repitiendo una y otra vez, Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Entonces, por eso es que también es importante utilizar los pronombres. Marvin works and he visits her girlfriend. Entonces, ahí ya se, se escucha diferente, ya no se escucha tan redundante, repetitivo. So, that, that's why it's important. ¿Podemos empezar así también? Yes, that, that's okay. Okay, um, questions, questions about the activity. Are you ready for the activity? So is it clear? ¿Están listos, chicos? Eh, una pregunta. 
Solo vamos a realizar la actividad 2, ¿verdad? Que está explicando. Solo eso. Ajá. Acá. ¿Puede ser puntual o de todo? ¿Diaria o, 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 o a la semana? Cualquiera. Puede ser una actividad o dos de esa persona. Por lo menos dos actividades. Así como lo hemos hecho acá. Pero recuerden que le van a preguntar a todos sus compañeros. Entonces ustedes van tomando apuntes. So that's why you're going to work in groups of five. Por eso van a trabajar en equipo de, de cinco esta vez. Para que eh, todos vayan tomando apuntes. ¿Ok? Eh, Marvin. Marvin, ¿sí? Hola. No sé si Marvin tenía preguntas. No, no, ya, ya, todo bien. Uh -huh. Entonces, puede ser eh, de, una de las actividades que hacen en el trabajo o de una actividad que hacen en particular eh, un día de la semana. ¿Ok? Uh, oh, you can even uh, be uh, talk about the week. What do you do? Ok. What do you do during the week? Okay, ¿Qué hace durante la semana? Podría ser otra pregunta. Pero vamos a llegar a lo mismo, ¿verdad? A las, a las rutinas, a las actividades diarias. Ok, so let me um, create the breakout rooms. Miss. Dígame, Sarita. Y para preguntar, ¿qué hiciste el día de hoy? Mm, ok, esa es... Solo que ahí vamos a utilizar otro tiempo. Solo lo vamos a poner acá como ejemplo, porque Sarita quiere saber. ¿Qué hiciste hoy? What did you do today? Uh -huh. What did you do today? Uh, en este caso, you... este do, el pasado de do, es did. Y lo vamos ah, a convertir okay. a pasado. What did you do? Me estoy comiendo las palabras. What did you do today? Okay. So what did you do yesterday? Si ustedes notan acá en estas dos preguntas, um, utilizamos el, el auxiliar tiempo. did y el verbo principal, que es la acción que hace, que hiciste hoy, el hiciste, es este do. Pero va acompañado con este auxiliar. What did you do today? What did you do yesterday? Miren, va en presente, una forma, en forma base. Lo único que modificamos en las preguntas en pasado es el auxiliar. Igual, con las yes, no questions. Esas son las double H questions. Ahora, con las uh, yes, no questions. Uh, did you study? Veamos, vamos a hacer la comparación. Do you study? ¿Estudias? Yes. I do, right? Sí, lo hago. Yes, I do. Uh, did you study? ¿Estudiaste? Yeah, um, yes, I did. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, I did. Sí, es la respuesta afirmativa. Ok. De pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Negativo. La negativa. No, I, I didn't. 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 Miren, esa contracción es, es el do not. Do not. Y aquí sería did not. ¿Ok? Pero no solamente nos casamos con ese do, con otro verbo. Por ejemplo, what did you eat yesterday? Ok, in the morning. ¿Qué comiste en la mañana? Aquí, como es una information question, ahí sí voy a escribir una oración eh, completa, ¿verdad? I ate five pupusas. Ahora veamos la yes, no. Did you eat? Notes el verbo. ¿Comiste? Y acá, ¿qué comiste? Y acá solamente comiste. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can take, get a screenshot from that information. Sarita, yes, clear. Yes. Questions? Okay. 
So now I'm going to create the breakout rooms and let's see, let's see how you do it. So you're gonna have five minutes. So that's enough. Is that enough? Cinco minutos, chicos. Si lo logramos o no lo logramos. Minuto por persona. Unos siete minutos. Okay. 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 Guys. Algunos grupos van a quedar un poquito más pequeños. Okay. Entonces las demás las pueden crear en conjunto. Si no están los Pregunta. Dígame, Eduardo. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta en concreto que vamos a realizar? Porque veo una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Todas son de sí o no, ¿verdad? Pero ¿cuál sería la pregunta en concreta que vamos a realizar en la actividad? Si es de daily routine en present o de daily routine en past. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Ok. Huh? Simple present. Uh, the question would be, what do you do? Okay. In the week. What do you do in the week? What do you do on a particular day? Oh, what do you do in a particular day on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday? So either this one or this one. Cualquiera de las dos. Vamos a, vamos a regresar a lo mismo, a las rutinas en presente. So what, what I ask you is to use the correct spelling for the verbs, for the third person. So just keep in mind that, okay? Solamente estén cuidado ahí con la tercera persona. So remember that you have to add S. S, -E -S E-S, or I-E-S, the verbs, okay? So nada más tienen que tener cuidado ahí con los verbos en tercera persona. Okay, if your sentences are affirmative. So let's go, let's go, guys. So you're gonna have around seven to eight minute, minutes, okay? Okay, Cindy, eh, Oscar, Sarita, me dicen si no les ha aparecido la invitación. No, sí me apareció, pero es que sí me apareció, pero es que estaba ocupada ahí. Ok, ahorita le ahorita envío una, él sí. Tarita, ¿no le apareció invitación? Ileana, ahí esperemos unos segunditos, ¿ok? Daniela, Daniela, a ti el micrófono tal vez la puedo escuchar ahorita. Okay. Otra vez, eh, Sarita. Ok.
Sería check y report. Check y report. Word and check y report. En Word, ajá. Uh -huh. vale. ¿Y usted qué hace el día? What do you do Monday? Día lunes. Monday Word and say an email. Vaya, dupla, ¿verdad? Sí. Una... Dijo. Word, dijo Word, 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 and, and say an email. Envío correos. Envía correos. Mail. Vaya. El día martes, Monday, Wednesday es, es martes, va. Sí. Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Sí. Wednesday. Ah, quiero ver. Ah, envío, ¿cómo será? Envía. Permítame. Sería el martes estudio y estudio en la en estudio en en voz en voz en voz El, el martes en el trabajo sería inform envío los correos a los compañeros de telemercadeo sería el martes. El, el martes sería al ser aquí email to my colegas ¿Cómo? El, el Tuesday sería I see you the mail to my colleagues mm, Excelente Ajá. Sería revisa Gmail en el colegio Envío Envía Envío a los correos a mis compañeros Sería In the words, in the words, en mi compañero del trabajo. Your panel. Ajá. Panel in the world. In the world, ajá. Bueno. Yo Tuesday estudié in the afternoon in university. Estudié en Vaya, este estudio 
estudio las tardes en la universidad. Estudio in the, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Ajá. Solo así sería mejor. Solo estudio en la sería. tarde. Ajá. Entonces solo nosotros estamos. Creo que sí. <risa> Y, y Wednesday ¿qué hace? tiene apagado el micrófono Marvi Visit Fern Place Marvin Visit Different Place Marvin, what do you do at work? Visit Different Place and So, let's say a la suya, Marvin, and different place, and and he monitor internet connection. Que ver, monitor. Monitorea. O sea. mm, Permítanme. Permítame, permítame, ya vuelvo.
Vaya, entonces el mío sería Marvin visit different place and he monitor internet connection. Monitorea. Ajá. Monitors. Monitors. Ok. ¿Quién falta? Carlos, pero quizás lo sacó el internet. Okay. Y Oscar está de gente. Ok. Marvin visit different place and he internet connection. Entonces tenemos tres, ¿verdad? Uno, dos, tres. El de Cindy, el de Elsie y el mío. Correcto. Entonces, mmm, pongamos a Oscar. Oscar, digamos, what do you do at, at week? Oscar, visit grandparents and... Visit. Oscar visit. No, Oscar visit your fa your family. Dice, what do you do at at week? Uh, Oscar visit your family and Sunday. Uh, And Monday. Visita a su familia y... Dice, Oscar visita a su familia y se prepara para su examen. Vamos a ver. Um, Preparing your exam and prepare. Entonces sería Oscar visit his family and prepare for and the he, exam. And he prepare for your your exam. For you. <laughs> For you, exam. Vamos a ver. Prepare. 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 Sorry. Oscar visit your family and he prepare. He prepare for you, exam. Elsie, great reports. She a bookkeeper. Cindy, Cindy, work and check email. Mm. Vaya, ya tenemos cuatro. Creo que solamente esos cuatro. Sí. Sí. A ver. Vaya, el primero es. What, what do you do at work? Es la de Cindy. Eh, dice, Elsie, what did, what did you do today? Es Elsie. Mm -hmm. eh, what do you do at work? Es Marvin, ¿verdad? Marvin visits different places and he 
monitor internet connection. La otra es, ¿qué ver? What do you do? Ah, no, dice, what do you do during the week? ¿Qué fue lo que hizo en la, en la semana, en el fin de semana? Él visitó a su familia y se preparó para el examen. Preparing. Se preparó. Preparing. 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 Y preparing for examen. Bye. Digo yo que están buenas. Yo creo que falla. Me sacó, ya no pude entrar, Marvin. Ok. Pero te pusimos Oscar. Quiero ver. This is your family. I'm prepared for you, Exxon. Es Carlos. Que... Es Carlos. Uh, Oscar. Ok, Oscar. guys. Let's check. Es que está mala la señal. Vengo de, o... Sí, vengo de otra sala, me habían incluido en otra. Ya no pude ingresar. Ok. Bueno. No, yo creo que okay, ya volvimos. Sorry, a la that was my bad, Carlos. Ah, ya estamos a la principal, sí, perdón, ya vi el... <risa> Sí, no, yo, yo, me, yo pensé que estaba en la 3. Sí, en la 3. Me confundí ahí. Ah, ok. Ok, so let's see. Um, so... Because of the time, I'm just going to ask two people. So you guys decide from team one. Uh, please select two people. Let's see. From team number one. Room one. Sala uno. Let's see. We have Douglas, Fatima, and let's see. Is all... Flora, Gabriela, and Sara. Let's see. Señor, solo con Douglas no estuvimos en la sala. Solo los okay. dos. Justo los dos. Well, okay. Eh. Okay, so read your examples, Fatima. Read your examples. Bueno, eh, I I go to shopping with my folks for a snack for me too. No, no sé si será así, señor. Ok, permítame, voy a silenciar las demás. Ok. Ahora sí, ya puede quedar su micrófono. Uh, I bought, I bought something, I bring my boss before the night for meeting. No sé si será así. Is he or you? He, he, are you? Mm. They do. Okay, so let's do something. Send me your um, notes to the WhatsApp uh, chat, okay? To the WhatsApp, to the WhatsApp group. So send me the screenshots.
Okay, let's see. Douglas, can you read yours, Douglas? Llega a enviar a las preguntas al grupo. On Monday, I work and check the report. Okay. Mm, okay, but remember that you have to give descriptions about the others. Okay, bien. Um, okay, I, I have examples. Ustedes, Sarita, acá... Sarita, Sarita, en, en, en Saturday, on Saturday, Sarita is sleeping and does cooking lasagna. Is correct or no? Okay, Sarita cooks. Sarita sleep. Sleeps. Sarita sleeps and cooks lasagna. Uh -huh. Okay. Sarita. Another. Okay. Nikki. Oh. Nikki play basketball and imagine sleeping in his bed. And imagines? Imagine sleep in his bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Nikki plays and okay. Imagine sleeping in his bed. Himself sleeping. Okay. Se imagina a sí mismo durmiendo, right? Okay. Mm, okay. Um, nice. Let's see. Sarita, what do you have, Sarita? Uh Eduardo, he shared your money truck. Hmm? Charges? Money truck. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick, Nick, uh, Nick, he's sending emails. Emails. Mm hmm. Okay, Nikki sent emails. Mm -hmm. um, Eduardo, he sent report. Eduardo sends. Uh -huh. Sends report. Okay, reports. Report. Nikki, he play basketball. Okay, Nikki plays. Place, Place basketball. Basketball. Okay, basketball. Well done, Sarita. Let's see. Let's continue with um, Marvin. Carlos supervising the okay. agent Eduardo? sales. Repeat it, Carlos, please. Carlos supervising the agent sales. Okay, Carlos supervises the agent sales. Okay. The agents, apostrophe, sales. Carlos? Elfi. Ah, apostrophe, agents. Right. Report. She is bookkeeper, a bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. She is the bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Um, the next one is um, Elsie. Elsie, what do you have, Elsie? Elsie, hello. Is Elsie here? Hi. Hi, Elsie. Can you read your examples? Mm. Tengo que poner el nombre mío, ¿cuál? De los compañeros con los que trabajo. Um. 
Es que no lo noté, lo, lo de lo, solo lo mío noté. Ok, so let's see. Vamos a escribir entonces a usted using third person. Read your routines. Mm -hmm. um, go. Ok, works. Mm. Mm. Report. Ok, Elsie writes. Right. Reports. Report daily. Ok, daily. Well done. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other? Mm. ¿Tiene algún otro? Ese? No. Ok. Let's see. Mm, let's check. Nikki, Nikki, what do you have, Nikki? <coughs> um, Sarita plays mm -hmm. with children and she sings with them. Okay. What else? What else do you have? Um, Eduardo sends emails and he meets with colleagues. Colleagues, colleagues, colleagues. So this is actually colleagues, colleagues. So let's listen to the word. Let's listen to. Do you have any other, Nikki? Um, Eduardo plays soccer two hours. Okay. Play soccer uh, two hours. So let's check it. Listen, listen to the word. Colleague. 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 Mm -hmm. Colleagues. Okay, Colleague. so now we're gonna uh, continue. So we have some more activities. We're gonna start checking something else. Uh, just let me scroll it down. Okay, so look at this. Um, we're gonna finish with this uh, exercise. And you can complete uh, this one, right? So this is going to be up to you. And we're going to finish with this one, okay? Your work, create a question based on the answer. Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. So which could be the question? Which could be the question? Auxiliary, do or does? Does. Does. Das. Why? Look das. at the answer. Veamos la respuesta. Le tengo que crear la pregunta he basada en la He fixes the yes, AC on Friday. Does. Does, does he? he fixes. Okay. He Important fix. question. Fix or fixes? Fix. Fixes. Fixes. Mm. fixes. Are you sure? Seguros. Fix or fixes? Fixes. Mm -hmm. Carlos? Fixes. Fix or fixes? Eduardo, what do you think? Nikki? Fixes. Fixes. Fix. Fix, right? Fix. Actually, it's fix. Does he fix the AC on Friday? Okay. So keep in mind that uh, in here you don't modify the verb. Recuerden que en las preguntas no modifican el verbo, ¿ok? Solamente es cuando son oraciones afirmativas, right? Fixes, ¿ok? Does he fix? Um, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Question number two. Question number two. Ok. Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. So, which could be the question? Does she? Does she? Okay, does she? 
main verb. Sen. Uishi. Sen. Sen. Men, many emails. Money, ima, money many, emails many. to customers. Okay, question again. Sen or sense? Sense. Why? Sen. It's a question, Sarita. Sen. Question. Sen. Oh. Sen. Okay. Sen. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Number three. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Doesn't. She. Okay. Does she? Cleans. Clean or cleans? Cleans. Marvin, clean or cleans? Cleans. Clean. Porque no es pregunta. It's a question. It's a question. Estamos formulando uh, la pregunta. Uh -huh. So we're, okay. we're creating clean. a question. Okay. Clean. clean because the auxiliary clean. does. Mm -hmm. Recuerda que estamos creando la pregunta. Ahí okay. en la oración afirmativa está bien. Lo estamos formulando okay. la pregunta. Does she clean? Sí. The first floor. floor. Okay. Oh. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. First floor. Primer piso. Okay, let's see number four. Yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the cells. Does does? Does, does he? Does he or does Eric? I'll put that example on Eric. Does Eric keep keep track on the, on the cells? Cells. Okay. Does Eric keep track on the cells? Yes, he does. He, Eric keeps track on the cells. Let's say okay. Copy copy that. Copy that. Or if you have it. You have your mind so you can create the questions. So let me know when you're ready. Ahí están ahí para quitarlo, okay? Yeah. Ready? So let me know. I'm finished. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. We have more practice. Okay, um, so in here, uh, I'm going to ask you to uh, write that, but you can do that on in your free time. Uh, in here, you have to write a paragraph describing what um, a person, a partner does or doesn't, okay? So that's what you are going to do in that part. Acá van a escribir un párrafo de lo que hace un compañero, right? Okay, but with the information that you already know, you can do that. Con la información que ya tienen, ya lo pueden hacer. Y, and then you send me, you send that to me, okay? You send that to my WhatsApp. Okay, so now we're going to check some more information. We're going to skip this one. Of course, you can complete that. And we're going to uh, go straight to unit number three. Okay. So uh, when once you're done with the previous activities, you send that uh, to me. Okay. Me pueden ir enviando también esas actividades. Okay. So you have some exercises so just to complete them. And uh, you write a paragraph, and then you send that to me, okay, so I can check it. Let's What's see. Page? Um, uh, Carlos? What's that was page? page 28. 28, uh, 28 and 27. Okay? okay. And part of this one, right? Just this one. Okay. 27 and 28. And that's it. 
Okay, so look at this. Uh, we're going to start uh, unit number three, and the topic it's where do you work? So for this unit, you will be able to talk about different departments in your workplace. And besides that, you're going to learn about uh, these departments in your company. So we're going to read the definitions. These are related to the previous job positions that we studied in unit number two. So now we're going to check uh, the departments in a company. For example, we have in here six departments. Look at the first one, production. Production, can you repeat that with me? Production. 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 Research. Production. Research. 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 And development. And development. 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 Listen, development. Development. Research and development. Research and development. Well done. Then we have this one. The purchasing department. Purchasing department. Purchasing. Okay, so let me play it. Okay, purchasing. Don't no worry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't no worry. Purchasing. Purchasing. Listen, listen. Purchasing. 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 Listen, 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 everybody, listen. Purchasing. 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 Okay, nice. So let's, let's go back again. Purchasing department. So I made a mistake with that. Purchasing department. Then we have marketing department. Marketing. 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 E. Marketing. Again. Marketing. Let's check it. Marketing. Okay. Marketing. 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 And number five. Number five. So can you read number five? Human resources? Human resources. Human resources. Management. Human resources. Management. Human resources. Management. Management. Okay. Human and resources. Management. Well done, Sarita. Accounting and finance. And we have the last one, accounting and finance. Accounting. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. 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 Okay. Accounting and finance. Again, uh, production. Production. Research and development. Research and development. And development. How about this one, do you remember? Purchasing. 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 Department. Marketing. 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 Okay, number five, human resources management. Human resources management. Human. Human. Human resources management. 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 Well done, Carlos. Got it. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. 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 Okay. Finance. Finance. So now let's try to match the definitions with the correct, um, okay, with the correct word, production. Look at this. We have these definitions, production. So which could be, uh, which definition could uh, fit for this, um, for this one, production. We have, let's read it together. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. So that's one, recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Keep the it's financial record. Uh-huh. Let's see. Is it's that? a human resource management. Human resources management. Okay, so that's number two, right? Two. Number two. Mm -hmm. So that's number, okay, this is actually five. Human resources, this one, right? Recruit. Select and train new employees for the right job 
in the company. Okay, um, and how about this one? Let's continue with this one. Let's continue reading and then you, you tell me, okay? Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Los Number inflows six. son las entradas, la, la, los flujos de Accounting dinero. Accounting and finance. Ah, Accounting and finance. So that's six. number six, six. right? Six. Okay. Six. Let's see. Let's check the next one. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Number one. Number one. one. Mm. Okay. So it means controlar y supervisor y supervisar la fuerza laboral y el el inventario. Mm -hmm. Let's see the next one. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Two. Two. Research and development. Two. Mm, okay. Two. How about the next one? Look at the next one. Buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment for the use of the organization. Purchasing. Purchasing. Okay. Purchasing. 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 Okay. So that's purchasing department buying a quite raw material. So what is raw material? What is raw material? Raw material? Materia prima. La materia prima. Hold on. Prima. Okay. Materia prima. Production equipment. Production equipment. El equipo de producción. Ajá. Ok. Y de organización. Ajá. Para el uso. Ajá. Para, Para el uso de la, de la organización. Ajá, de la organización. De la empresa. Ajá. For the ah. use of the organization. For the company, right? La adquisición de materia prima, la compra, la producción del de, de equipo. Todo eso para ser utilizado en la empresa. Okay, and the last one, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Marketing. 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 Okay, marketing. So that's Good. number four. Four. Mm -hmm. Easy, right? So take a, take a screenshot. Okay, so nice. Let's continue now. Okay, so I'm going to share something else with you. Uh, just give me one second. So we're gonna start it a little bit more, the double H questions. Uh, in the previous session, we started studying the double H questions uh, with verb to be. So now we're gonna continue doing that. And besides that, where you're going to learn something new. Vamos a seguir con las double H questions o preguntas double H. So why do we call them double H word? ¿Por qué le decimos double H? Porque empiezan usualmente con WH. Y esta pues no inicia así, pero tiene. Oh, well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Um, these questions start with a double H word. And um, we use them in order to get more information, right? From uh, other people or uh, things, right? So remember that when you use a double H question, it goes at the beginning of your question, right? Recuerden que la double H, esta función de pregunta, va al inicio. Examples. How are you today? When is your birthday? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Where are you from? Who is your best friend? Let's see. How are you today, Carlos? 
uh, five. Okay. Uh, five. Excellent. So ask me. How are you today, Adeli? Great. When is your birthday, Eduardo? When is your birthday? My birthday is May 30, May 30, May 31. On May the, okay, 31. 30, okay, on May the 31st, right? I thought it was 31st. Mm -hmm. 31st. My birthday is on May the 30th. Look at this, 30. Ya, ya me olvida, Buzos, con los regalos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. estamos cerca porque yo soy ya el 19, así que también buzo con el regalo usted. <laughs> <laughs> A ver quién se luce, mamá. <laughs> sí. Okay, yeah, that's the attitude. Well done. My birthday is on May the 31st. Uh, Sarita, when is your birthday? My birthday is uh, 19 on May. Okay, the 19th of May. Okay, all May, the 19th, 19th, okay, on May, the 19th. So it's something like this, right? Y para que nos veamos jóvenes, démosle vuelta a los números. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Yes, if I remember, if you keep a young spirit, so that would be great. Okay, let's see. Um, What do you do? Um, Let's see. This question is for Nikki. Nikki, what do you do? Your job. What do you do? In my job. Uh huh. No, your job. Um, with the question, what do you do refers to your occupation. What do you do? I'm a teacher. And you? What do you do? No sé cómo decir como operador logístico. Operate. Mm -hmm. A logistic operator. Operate. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. A logistic operator. Okay. What are you I'm from? Pat uh, okay, uh, Nikki, repeat it. What do you do, Nikki? <laughs> I am a logistic operator. Okay, nice. Uh, Fatima, where are you from? I'm from uh, I'm Soyapango. I'm from Soyapango. Soyapango. I'm from Soyapango. Okay. Who is your best friend, Eduardo? My best friend is Humberto Moreno. Okay. That, nice. that I have that I have three or four years than down see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen. Okay. Same him. Okay, no lo he visto en cuatro años. Okay. I haven't seen him in four years time. Okay. Okay, let's see. So now we have practiced with some double H questions. And here you have the definitions, the, well, the translation in Spanish. So the meanings, right? What word? So re repeat that with me, guys. What? 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 what what okay so i'm gonna what? show you this what so you can um what? Listen, what? listen to that what 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 okay what? so what? let's let's go back to the presentation mm -hmm. where so the next word is word. 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 Okay, word. again. 
where 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 easy right where uh, how about this one can you uh, can you tell me how do you pronounce this one where uh, who who mm. okay who 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 mm. right Again, so let's check it. Who? 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 Okay, here, right? How about this one? When? 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 Okay, the next one? How? 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 Check it. It's not like cowboy. How? Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Hello. How about this one? How much, right? How, how, much. Much. how, how much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Check it. Check it. Listen. Much. Much. How much? Much. How much? How much? Much. Much. How? Much, right? How much? How much? Okay, so the um, so we also have another one. How much and how many? Okay, how, how many, many with countable nouns and how much with countable nouns? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que how many lo utilizamos con sustantivos contables y how much con Incontables. Example, how many books or many do you read um, in a year? Okay. Do you? ¿Cuántos libros lees en un año? Okay. How much time a year do you, do you read? Do you want? Do you read? Do you read? Mm -hmm. How much time do you read? ¿Cuánto tiempo lees? Okay. Lees. Recuerden que acá el sustantivo que sigue después de much I'm, es... I'm, I'm reading two mm -hmm. hours every day. I want... I read two hours every day. Two hours. Every, every day. Okay. Every day. Uh, and how many? How many books do you read in a year? I read. How many? Uh, Four books. One? One book? One book. Okay. One book in year. One book. I read uh, one book a year. I read four books uh, in the... Uh, Podría ser en el mes. I read ah, okay. four books. In a month. In a month, oh, okay. In mm -hmm. a month, okay. Or you can say monthly, okay? How many books monthly. do you read? Monthly, yearly. Yearly, ah, okay, uh, gracias. Let's see, daily, weekly, okay? Trimestral. Trimestral. I would say in three months. In three, three months. months, okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay, nice. So let's continue. So look at this. We have the structure in here. So I'm going to place it here. Here. I don't know. Did you copy this, Carlos? No, no, no. no. Quizás a la derecha. Here. Ahí mismo, ahí mismo. Ya, yeah, gracias. Okay, nice. Okay, so look at this. This is the formula that we're going to use with these double H questions. Uh, double H plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. Eso es lo que veíamos el día de ayer. Okay. Um, example, the teachers are in the next classroom. Okay, so we're talking about location. Location in the next classroom. Now, let's tell the maestros, what are the teachers in the next classroom? So remember that we're asking about place, right? The insect is in the wall. 
What is on the wall? ¿Qué hay en el, en el muro, en la pared? The insect. The insect. Okay. Hold on. So I'm going to send it to you so you can practice on it. Okay. Le voy a compartir también la diapositiva para que ustedes la, la puedan checar más adelantito. Or you can open it. There you have it. Okay, so can you translate this? Can you translate this? Which is the question for this one? One. Mm -hmm. when. 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 Okay. When. About this one. Where. Where. Okay. Where. How about Why. this one? Why? 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 This Why? one? What? 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 How. 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 Who. And who. 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 Excellent. Who. Okay. So look at this. Um, here you have some task, but because of the time, we're just going to uh, place the um, double H. The new club is at Justo Sierra, which could be the double H question. The new club is at Justo Sierra. ¿Qué double H necesitamos ahí? The new club is at justo cierre. When, what, where, how. Where? What, the new club. Where. where. Okay, where. Donde. Donde. Look at this, at justo cierre. Where is the new club? Okay, number two. She's crying because her cat ran away. Está llorando porque su gato se escapó. Cat ran away. Fue. It's who? Ah, okay. You sure? She's crying because her cat ran away. Ella está llorando. Why, right? Why is she crying? Okay. Michael is doing homework. Michael is doing homework. Things in general. ¿Qué hablamos de cosas en general? So which would be the question? What? What? Mm -hmm. What is he doing? Okay. What is he doing? He's doing homework. Uh, let's see the next one. Um, Monica is very good on math. Tiene buena en matemáticas. Who is? Mm -hmm. Who is good? Um, okay, on math. Number five. Adriana is an English teacher. What? Who? Who is? Uh -huh. Who is an English, English teacher? Teacher. Adriana, right? The concert is on November the sixth. El concierto es el 6 de noviembre. When? When? Okay. When is the? The concert. The concert. When is the concert? ¿Cuándo es el concierto? Number seven, Miriam and Richie are happy and enthusiastic. What? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay. How are Miriam and Richie? Porque, eh, how pregunta sobre estados. Podría ser, ¿cómo están Miriam y Richie? Ah, ¿están felices y entusiasmados, right? Um, okay, uh, number eight. The shoes, uh, the shoe is in the closet. El zapato está en el closet. Where? Where is the shoe? Where is the shoe? Okay. Number nine. Denise is happy because she got a 10. Why? Why is... She happy. Okay, ten. Roberto is at school today. 
Where? ¿Cuánto está en la escuela hoy? Where? Where, uh, where is where? Where? Roberto, right? Where is Roberto? Where is Roberto? Okay. Eleven. Danny is a nice person. Who? Who? Mm -hmm. Who is a nice person? Danny, right? Yeah. Number 12. They are busy on Fridays. When? When, okay. When are they busy? Okay, when are they busy? Okay, nice. So now we're going to check something else uh, related to this. Um, let me know if you have finished. Okay. Marisa, ahí se terminan de copiar las preguntas. Ready? Tequila. Y la sala derecha que... Okay. One more. Here? Ready. Mm -hmm. So you can send it to the group. Okay. Nice. Um, let's see. So I want to mm. show you something else. Uh, just hold on. Sleep. You're sleepy. You wanna? <laughs> you were almost done. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So now, now, um, just to oh, continue with these double H questions, we're gonna study the okay. subject and object questions. So pay attention to this. Muy importante identificar ese, esos dos tipos de preguntas. Why? Look at this. Subject and object. Uh, can you see that? ¿Se ve, chicos? ¿Ahí? ¿Avisan? Yes. Okay. Subject and object. Look at this. Uh, that's the action in a sentence. An object. Can you re yeah. read that, please, uh, Carlos? Excuse me, uh, Arely. Uh -huh. The, uh, subject does the action in a sentence. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand these two definitions. Necesitamos comprender primero estas dos definiciones. ¿Qué es un subject? Un subject es quien hace qué cosa? El sujeto. El sujeto. Quien hace la acción. El sujeto. Uh -huh. Quien hace la acción. En una oración. So that's the en action. En una oración, perdón. Uh -huh. Es el doer, lo que podríamos llamar doer. El, el agente o el sujeto que hace la acción en una oración. Object. Object means receives the action in a sentence. Okay. Receive the action. Uh -huh. Ahora también tenemos el otro elemento, objeto, que dice recibe la acción en una, or en una oración. Recibe la acción del verbo. Ya vamos a ver los ejemplos. Look at this. So, subject, the doer, object, receiver. Let me write that. Okay, doer, and we have a receiver. Okay. So just keep in mind that, inf that information. So now let's read this. Um, object questions. Which authors do you like best? Veamos lo siguiente acá de esta estructura. Double H plus. Two plus subject plus. Okay, so in here you can add uh, something else, a complement and a question. Uh, subject, object. Okay. So we're going to check that in a moment. Look at this. When a question word is the object of a simple present or simple past question, use do or does or did. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Cuando tenemos una object question, ¿qué decíamos que era el object? 
y que recibe. El que recibe. Ok. Receiver. And subject. Doer. Entonces, un object question es la que recibe la acción del verbo. So, which authors do you like best? Look at this. And subject question, who painted the Mona Lisa? ¿Quién pintó la Mona Lisa? So, can you identify the structure? Double H plus verb plus question mark. Entonces, las dos estructuras que tenemos Cuando son object questions, nosotros vamos a utilizar verbos auxiliares. ¿Cuáles son esos verbos auxiliares? Do y das para el presente simple. ¿Okay? Y cuando tenemos subject questions, vamos a utilizar el, la double H word más el verbo. ¿Quién pintó la Mona Lisa? Me dan ahí con los micrófonos. Escuchen los perritos. ¿Quién pintó la Mona Lisa? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Look at this. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Ideas? Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo, right? Leonardo da Vinci. Ok. Entonces, noten lo siguiente. ¿Qué es lo que quiero saber acá? ¿Quién realizó la acción de pintar? ¿Quién la realizó? Leonardo. Entonces, una subject question, cuando yo quiero saber quién realizó algo. Una object question es lo opuesto. Quiero saber quién recibió la acción del verbo. Sería acá. Vamos a, vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. So pay attention to this. Ok. Can you read these examples, Eduardo? Subject question. Who invited you no, or my friend invited me? Okay. Subject question. Who invited you? Who invited you? Mm -hmm. Ok. Acá la oración está en pasado. Lo yo lo voy a convertir en presente. No viendo presente, pero yo creo que sea una, una idea. Okay. ¿Quién te invitó? Who invited you? ¿Qué quiero saber? El sujeto, ¿verdad? ¿Quién? ¿Quién, quién te invitó? My friends invited me. Ahora, eso está en pasado. Presente. Who invites you? Sarita. ¿Quién te a ti, verdad? Uh -huh. Sarita invites me. Ok. Me. Sarita me invitó. Me invita, right? <ríe> no. Ok. <risa> nah, ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Mm -hmm. To the party And not is something else Quiero que noten algo más ¿Me pueden eh, decir que ven algo ahí de curioso con el verbo? ¿Cómo está el verbo? Simple present Okay. Who loves, uh, let's see, who loves Marvin? Otra pregunta. Who loves Marvin? ¿Quién ama a Marvin? ¿Quién ama a Marvin? Su novia. Su novia, ok. Su mamá. Let's, le ponemos un nombre acá. Ah, su mamá, ok. Her mother, right? Uh, let's say... We don't know the name, so let's invent one. Uh, let's say Susie, okay? <laughs> Susie loves Marvin, okay? Entonces acá lo más importante es saber quién, quién realiza tal, la acción de amar, okay? Susie, Susie loves Marvin. Okay. Now, look at this. Ahora nos pasamos al siguiente. Queda claro esto y también... Noten que el verbo, cuando tenemos una subject question, el verbo, tenemos que agregarle un, la S, la S que veíamos de tercera persona. Entonces, cuando tenemos subject question, vamos a agregar, si le estamos haciendo la, la pregunta en simple present, tenemos que agregar esa S. Who loves Marvin? Who invites you? Okay. 
Miren, acá tenemos otra subject questions. Otra subject questions. Which fruits are in the bowl? ¿Cuáles frutas están en el bowl, en el tazón? Okay. Apples and, uh, let's say, uh, watermelons. No todas cumplen la función de subject question. Las que cumplen la, usualmente son uh, who, which, and what en algunas ocasiones. Por ejemplo, what happened. Pueden encontrarse con eso. ¿Qué pasó? What happened. Esa es una subject question. Entonces tenemos esas tres. What, who y which pueden tener función de Subject, tienen función de subject question. Ahora, veamos, nos pasamos al otro lado. Entonces, nada más acá, eh, feedback, recuerden que va seguido de un verbo, la subject question, seguido de un verbo. Si está en presente simple, tenemos que hacer los cambios ahí a los verbos. Who invites you, Sarita, eh, who loves you, which, ok, esto no, eso es el verbo también. Ahora, object questions. Let's move. Who did you invite? Acá lo más importante es saber quién recibe la acción de ese verbo. ¿Quién te invitó? Who did you invite? Perdón. Who did you invite? ¿A quién? Mm, ok, so I'll modify this. Who did you invite? ¿A quién invitaste o quién invitaste? I invited. ¿A quién invité? My friends. My friends. Okay. Who did you? Who did you meet? Okay, lo vamos a hacer en pasado. Who did you meet? A quién conociste? Who do you? Okay, lo vamos a hacer. Main component. Who do you talk to? Con quien hablas? I talk to Carlos. ¿A quién le hablas? A Carlos. Entonces acá lo que quiero saber es quién recibe la acción de ese verbo hablar, de ese verbo conocer, de ese verbo invitar. Por lo tanto, acá yo necesito utilizar verbos auxiliares. Eh, los verbos auxiliares, eh, como nosotros estamos viendo en presente, serían do, does, pasado, de did, pero pueden haber otros como will, o, o dependiendo del tiempo que, que están utilizando, van a encontrar otros verbos auxiliares. So let's check some examples. Okay. So I want you to look at these questions and I want you to classify them. So write subject or object. Vamos a ver. Ahora vamos a identificar. Number one, who is knocking on the door? ¿Quién está tocando la puerta? Subject or object? Yes. Sería. Subject. Subject. Okay. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Which could be my answer? Carlos, for example. What do you want? What do you want? Subject or object? Object. Okay. Object. Okay. What do you want? ¿Qué quieres? What do you want? I want... Y no te sé acá. Vamos a poniendo los ejemplos. Who is knocking the door? Carlos is knocking the door. This is progressive. Ah, yes, it's progressive. Who is knocking the door? Carlos is knocking the door. So what do you want? ¿Qué quieres? Give me an answer. I want. Open the door. Uh, okay. I want to. Open. Open the door. The door. Hmm. Entonces la acción del verbo querer recae. ¿En qué? El objeto. ¿Qué es lo que quiero? Ah, que me abran la puerta. Right? The door. I want to open the door. Um, who do you want to see? Who do you want to see? Subject or object? 
Object. Object. Why? ¿Por qué podemos identificar que es una object? Por los auxiliares también, ¿verdad? Uh, who do you want to see? ¿A quién quiere ver? I want to see. Scorpion. Let's go. No, um... ya, tiro, ya tiro el regalo de mayo. Anticipado. <risa> Ah, ok, entonces recuerden que acá lo más importante es saber qué es eso que quieren ver. Eso es una object question. Who can go shopping? Who can go shopping? ¿Quién puede ir de compras? Subject or object? Subject. Uh -huh. Subject. Ok, let's say María, right? María wants to go. Shopping, who can go shopping? What will I give him? ¿Qué le daré a él? So what will I give him? Subject. Subject no. or object? Object. Mm -hmm. Object. Look, we have an auxiliary verb, will. Tenemos un verbo auxiliar ahí. ¿Cuál es? Give. Will. Uh, uh, will, will I will. give? Mm -hmm. Will. Give es el verbo principal. What will I give him? I will give him, veamos que si nos responde uh, como un object question, I will give him a present, un regalo. Tómenlo en cuenta. <laughs> yes, that's Eduardo en Sarita. Who cooks <laughs> every day? ¿Quién hace la cena? ¿Quién cocina la cena? Todos subject. Días. Subject, okay. The answer? My mom. My mom. My mom. Entonces, miren acá. I will give him a present. Acá, object, subject, my mom. Let's see. Uh, where do you have your car? Subject or object? ¿A dónde tienes tu carro? Subject. No, object, object. No, object. Object, right? Por supuesto, también where no va incluido en las subject questions. So where do you have your car? Object. Entonces acá lo más importante no es quién hace la acción, es quién recibe, right? I have my car o el objeto. En la mecánica. Acá la acción. I have my car in the garage. ¿A dónde está? En el garaje. Okay. In the fixes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what has just crashed? ¿Qué yes. acaba de tocar? What has just crashed? Crash. Object. Object question. Yeah. Hmm. Are you sure? Is subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay. The bus has just crashed. ¿Por qué? Porque miren, ahí tenemos el verbo. What? Y después sigue. Verbo. No llevamos auxiliar. The bus has just crashed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y el bus. Lo vamos a resaltar acá. The bus. Okay. Subject. Who are you talking to? ¿Con quién estás hablando? <laughs> Who are you talking to? It's subject. Subject. Okay. okay. And the last one. Who will show us the way? ¿Quién nos mostrará el camino? It's object. Object. Okay. Who will show us the way? Object. Okay, nice. So now let's continue. I'm just going to pass the attendance list and I'm going to send you an exercise so you can start working on it. Le voy a enviar un ejercicio para que ustedes vayan trabajando con estas double H questions con los auxiliares y las eh, subject and object. Okay, so just let me close this and we're gonna pass the attendance list.
Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández, say present, please. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Cindy Lisbeth Méndez. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Daniela Beatriz eh, Gómez. Douglas Alfonso Alvarenga Mengíbar. Present. Thank you, Douglas. Elsie Yanira Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Elsie. Fátima de Jesús Gómez. Present. Thank you, Flora Yaritza Guzmán Elías. Francisco Antonio Acuña Ramírez. Gabriela Michela Maya Guzmán. <coughs> Héctor Alejandro Pérez. Hi, Eliana. <laughs> Héctor Alejandro Pérez, muy bien. Que viene el agua, Eliana. Um, Héctor. Héctor Alejandro Pérez. Eliana Guadalupe Jerónimo. Present. Thank you, Eliana. Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Thank you. Marvin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Nikki Daniela Costa. Present. Thank you, Nikki. Oscar Daniel Castillo. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Denis Linares Mercado. What is Denis? Sara Gisela Peña. Present. Thank you, Sara. Sarita Elizabeth West. Present. Thank you, Sarita. And Yolanda Gabriela Fan Hernandez. Okay, so we're gonna stop in here, guys. So that's all for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? So that's all for today. Okay. Thank you, guys. So have a good one. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Questions, Sarita, do you have questions? Bye. Elsie, questions? No? No. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.